Hey everyone, this is Collapse and Protect, and this is the Stoger STR9C. It's a compact, striker-fired, semi-automatic pistol that packs 13 rounds of 9mm punch. I picked this thing up a while ago and wanted to do a review on it, but recently its full-size brother just went on sale for as low as $175, depending on where you shop. Let's find out if this budget polymer pistol is worth spending a couple of bills on. Stoger has been making high quality shotguns for a while and they're actually owned by Benelli, the same Benelli that makes the gold standard of semi-automatic combat shotguns, the M4. But recently they've begun producing their own line of pistols in the form of the STR9C. The STR9C is a copy of third generation Glocks. From the disassembly procedure to the layout of the internals, it's evident that on the inside, it's a Glock, and in my book, that's a good thing. The exterior is an entirely different story. The Stoger looks like a combination of a Smith & Wesson, a Steyr, and a Ruger. The 13 round magazine has a shelf to rest your pinky on, and the magazine release is easy to actuate. The magazine drops freely from the gun, facilitating fast reloads, and the bottom of the grip is scalloped, making it easier to rip a magazine from the gun in the event of a malfunction. The grip itself is ergonomic, and it would be comfortable if not for the super aggressive texture on the back strap. This stuff is abrasive, Think cheese grater. It's made of a bunch of small pyramids, and while it definitely gives you a no-slip grip on the gun, it may also limit the amount of rounds you can shoot in one range trip before it removes some skin from your dominant hand. With that said, the grip is cut nice and high, which will help mitigate recoil impulse and get us back on target faster. The slide release is large enough to manipulate and functions as it should, and the takedown paddles are exactly where you would expect them to be on any Glock. The STR9 comes with this rail to attach lights and lasers and easy to see three dot sights. We have some cuts on the slide in the back and the front to help with your press checks and racking the slide is really smooth. I'd argue that it's actually smoother than a factory Glock. Now let's look at the trigger. This is where the STR9 really impressed me. I expected a Glock trigger, something kind of mushy with around five pounds of trigger pull. But when the trigger broke, I was really surprised. I thought I had an extra pound to go before that striker dropped. The trigger is listed at five pounds, but I'd say it's closer to four. The take up is minimal and you hit a solid and discernible wall. Then we get a crisp break without any trigger creep or grittiness in between. The reset is short and affirmative and because of that solid wall before the break, it's easy to make quick follow up shots without any overshoot or extra travel from that trigger. I put 200 rounds through the STR9 and didn't have a malfunction or failure of any type. I shot steel, brass, and nickel plated ammo and it didn't seem to care what I fed it. The STR9 just kept running. It's reliable and we expect that from a Glock clone, but it's nice to see that it delivers. So I've mentioned the good, but I need to bring up where the STR9 falls short. For this one, it's all about the magazine. The gun only comes with one magazine and that magazine isn't Glock compatible. You can buy extra mags for about $35 a piece, but that's a little pricey. If this thing used Glock 19 mags, it wouldn't be an issue, but it doesn't. The magazine only holds 13 rounds instead of 15 like the equally sized Glock 19, and while two extra rounds isn't a lot, I feel like you should get the full 15 instead of coming up two rounds short. So should you buy an STR9 of your own? I say yes all day. You're getting a Glock with arguably slightly better ergonomics for less than half the price of a factory Glock. Whether you're looking for something to carry concealed, shove into a hiding spot for a home defense gun, or stow away in your vehicle, the STR9 series pistol is a great option. So where can you find your own STR9 for under $200? Try these guys. Or you can try these guys. You'll have to send in for the $25 rebate either way, but when you're all finished, you'll have a reliable striker-fired pistol built by a long-standing, reputable company for about the price of a full tank of gas and some baby formula in 2022. That's it for the STR9. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Do me a favor and comment too. I love getting the feedback. Until the next one, have fun and be safe.